illustration students today's video i will be discussing about shading and its importance in illustration let's have a practical approach towards shading the first thing what is shading let's set up our model mr red if you see the picture of its outline is circle so i make a circle what color is or you can say it as hue it is red I'll apply the same red here. You see the difference? A basic color filled in the shape make an object look flat. But by adding shadows, that is the darker side to the hue and highlights that are lighter colors, it makes an object look 3D. That's shading. The basic principle you have to follow for shading are source of light, highlights and shadow. Learn shading first with basic shapes, then we can transfer that same knowledge into our fashion illustrations. Okay, let's bring our model Mr. Red. First set a source of light. Now it can be from any direction, so let's keep it a little front and left side. Take a photo of it for your further reference. Now let's study the whole picture. The source of light is here and it's making this area the red color lighter now this is called a highlight as you go extreme further you will see that there is a darker shade of red that is forming towards the almost towards the edge of the ball so that's our first type of shadow which is dark okay which is the darkest now there are a few shadows that are also forming around the circle but they are not much dark now these are the same rules that you have to follow in illustrations also now the second thing that i need you to notice about the shadow is the shape of shadow now since the ball is circle uh, it's round so you will notice that the shadow is not vertical or horizontal it is it is also curved it is also into a shape and this thing again applies for the faces let's look at the third type of shadow that is being formed over here and that is forming from the object so you see the shadow that is forming on the surface so that is the third type of shadow an example for this will be like the shadow from the chin will fall on the neck or if there's a jacket the inner shirt will have forming from the jacket so this kind of shadow is also very important here i'm using one color and doing the shading I will achieve the highlights and shadows by the pressure applied on the pencil. Starting first with a uniform color, not much pressure on the pencil. Understand the area of highlight. Color in the direction of the curve. Refer to your photo while working. And I'm done with the basic layer. I will start developing the shadow by applying the pressure on the pencil and then blend it with the highlight gradually. Just practice with your usual stationery. Just keep in mind that the paper that I'm using has a kind of rough texture that suits the pencils. Uh, otherwise, it's fine. And the pencils over here, I'm using a basic Faber-Castell pencils. I use an eraser to make the highlight more prominent. Remember one thing, the shinier the surface, more the reflection of the light and hence more whiter will be the highlights. Example, satin fabric. The same rules, let's apply it to a cylinder shape. Take any object that is a cylinder shape take a photograph of it uh, study the highlights study the shadows notice the shadow direction if you notice the shadow and the highlight direction is more straighter because of the shape again let's try this out i will use different color pencils for giving shadows so i'm going to start again with lighter shade leaving the area for highlight start experimenting with darker tone pencils and then blend them together Use a paper beneath your hand to avoid smudges at the paper.
reapply on each other. So I'm going to try the same thing with a cone over here, keeping in mind the highlighted area and then just blending with light and dark color pencil. Now let's blend the colors nicely so the pencil stroke goes, that's also called as burnish. So I'm using alcohol. Now there are blender pencils that also you get and there are lots of other techniques like baby oil or Vaseline in there but I prefer to use alcohol. Now what I want you to do is practice these basic shapes and apart from these shapes, a lot of things at home you find just give a source of light, study the way the highlights and the shadows are forming. In my coming videos, I will be showing you tutorials of rendering various kind of fabrics and garments using different uh, mediums, color pencils, watercolor pencils, markers and so on. Hope this sharing video was informative. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until the next time, see you. Take care. Bye.